Hey friends, welcome back to my channel for another What I Eat In A Day video. Um, I am going to be doing these videos a little bit differently, not like in how I show you the food or what I show you or anything, but I'm going to start sharing with you what day on my Manjaro shot I'm on. I mentioned in my last video that I'll, that um, or I asked in my last video if you guys would, would be interested in seeing like how much food I can eat throughout the week. So my plan is to film at least one of these a week where I just show you a different day so that you can kind of get a feel of like how my appetite changes throughout the week. I was going to do it in like one big vlog, but I felt like that would be just too chaotic and too long. I thought just doing one random day on day two of my shot or on day five of my shot uh, might give you a better representation of how my appetite is on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the week of my shot. So today is Sunday as we're filming this video. I take my shot on Thursday night. So this is day three of the shot. And I will say that days like two, three, and four are usually the days where my appetite is at its lowest. So Thursday, Friday, no, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, and then like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm usually a lot hungrier and it'll like gradually increase on each of those days. So with that being said, this is what I am able to eat today on Sunday, day three of my Manjaro shot. I did not eat breakfast this morning and that is because I actually ate pretty late last night. I tend to not eat breakfast. I think I've told you guys this before. I just don't really enjoy breakfast food. If I do have something, it's a smoothie or a protein shake uh, just to get something in me, but I, I just don't enjoy breakfast food. So it's very rare that I eat a breakfast meal. Um, I used to eat breakfast all the time, but after having Finley, I just, I would wake up in the morning and have to nurse and all that stuff. And I just wouldn't like ever think about eating until like noon. And that's carried on over the past couple of years. And now I'm just in this groove where I don't eat breakfast. So I did not eat breakfast this morning. Um, and then um, I did have a cup of coffee. That is it. So I will see you guys when I eat for the first time today, which should be lunch. Also, we do tend to eat lunch relatively early. So it's not like I'm fasting until like one in the afternoon. We are the type of people that eat like lunch at 11, 1130 and dinner at five or 530. That's just kind of how we are. So not eating breakfast really isn't that big of a deal for me because we eat so early for lunch anyway. So I will see you guys at lunchtime now that I've rambled for three minutes. <laughs> see you soon. For lunch today, I am having a yogurt bowl. I have talked a lot about these lately. Um, on my other channel, I've talked a lot about this yogurt. This is the Specialty Selects um, Honey Vanilla Yogurt that you can get at Aldi. I believe it's only like $3.69 for this big container of it, and it is seriously the best Greek yogurt that I have ever had. That touch of honey just really adds something to it. I know a lot of people will just like put honey on their yogurt, so I guess it's the same thing. But to that, I I'm going to be adding some fruit. Today I have some fresh strawberries that I got from a local strawberry farm. Um, my daughter and I actually picked them. And then I'm adding some blueberries. I believe these blueberries are from Sam's Club. Sam's Club has amazing blueberries. And then to top it, I'm also going to use some milk chocolate chips. Don't judge me. It's like one of my favorite things to put on yogurt. And then I also am going to put some granola on this. This is the dark chocolate and oats granola that you can also get at Aldi. And it's much more affordable than like the Nature's Valley ones that you can get at um, like mainstream grocery stores. So this is going to be my lunch. I guess it's more like a brunch breakfast and lunch since I didn't eat breakfast. Um, but this is just my favorite meal ever. And this is how much of it I actually was able to eat. I would say I ate probably two thirds of it before I started to just feel uncomfortable. I've learned when I need to stop at this point. So I stopped there. For dinner tonight we are going to be having these garlic herb seasoned chicken breasts i got these at sam's club they are a limited find right now and y'all if you have a sam's club near you run and go get you some of these all you do is line a baking sheet with aluminum foil and throw the chicken breast on the 
foil in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes and I flip them over one time. They're so good. It's like this perfect piece of perfectly seasoned grilled chicken. It is so, so delicious. So I'm laying out three pieces of this, one for me, one for Chris, and one for Bryson. The girls won't eat um, the garlic and stuff, but they are, I'm going to show you what I made them in a little bit. And then I'm adding some of these sister sherbet rolls. We got these at Sam's club as well. Um, we're having salad tonight, which you'll see in a minute. And Chris and I both really like to have some bread with our salad. I don't know why we've always been like that. So I'm throwing both of these things in the oven and then I'm going to go ahead and start getting our salad ready while the chicken and the rolls cook. And then I'm also gonna make the girls their food as well. So for our salad, we are using this Caesar salad kit. It's the Taylor Farms one that you can get at Sam's Club. It is my favorite kit by far. The lettuce is always really fresh. And I like how they um, offer you two bags of dressing so that you're able to make two meals out of it. Or, you know, each person is able to have their own dressing. The lettuce is always good. The crew, like this is just my favorite kit. So I am making me and Chris each a plate. Chris more of the lettuce than me, obviously, because he will eat more of it. And then in the kit, you get um, a little pack that comes with some Parmesan cheese some croutons and then like I mentioned it does have two packs of the dressing so one for Chris and one for me it works out perfectly for us so I'm just going to top this with a little bit of the cheese give Chris the rest of the cheese a little bit of the croutons and then um, I also add some sunflower seeds to mine which you'll see in a minute um, oh before I mention that we do so I, I use the croutons that come in the pack but then I also go ahead and add some more croutons. Chris and I like the croutons, so we always add a little bit more um, of just some like classic Caesar croutons. These are the ones from Aldi. And then I'm gonna add some sunflower seeds to mine. Chris doesn't like sunflower seeds, but I like um, to have like a little bit of crunch in every bite. And sunflower seeds has been the biggest way that I can do that without like adding something super unhealthy because it does offer more protein and stuff like that. I sliced the chicken breast up and I am topping the salads with that. My chicken breast I used is the smallest one uh, because I knew I wouldn't eat a large one and then I gave Chris the biggest one and Bryson the medium sized one. That's kind of how we have been doing things lately um, when it's something that me, Chris, and Bryson eat all of. And look at my little Piper just following me around like she's going to get my stuff. And here is our salad. That one's mine. So I'm going to go ahead and top mine with my dressing. I use probably three quarters of the dressing, I would say. I don't use the whole pack. And then I don't put Chris's dressing on. I let him do that on his own because he likes to, you know, control how much dressing he is using. And then I do get asked a lot, like what the kids are eating when I am, when me and Chris are eating something different. So for the girls tonight, I made them homemade mac and cheese, made them some peas and a roll, of course. And then Bryson is having the same thing, except the chicken. He won't really eat mac and cheese, but he did definitely need two rolls because he would have gone back and gotten another one anyway. And this is how much of the salad I ate. I did eat all of the chicken out of there, only about mm, maybe a third of the roll, but the chicken is so delicious. Seriously, go get some of it before it goes away. <sighs> Guys, it has been the longest day ever. So today's Sunday that I'm filming this. I think I mentioned that. And uh, we cleaned the garage out today. Me and my 12 year old boy cleaned the garage and organized all of the decor and all of that stuff. And it has been a long day and I'm very tired. I cannot wait to just climb in my bed with my clean sheets. I need to take a shower first, but before I do that, I'm going to top my evening of eating or day of eating, whatever off with one of these Lindy's Italian ices. This one is the lemon flavor. It's my favorite. Actually, I don't really like any of the other flavors. Um, I believe they're like 80 calories a pop. So I like to have one of those at night, especially if, what is my hair doing? Especially if I'm craving something sweet. So this is going to finish my day off. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me today to see what I eat. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And um, the next What I Eat in a Day video that you guys see, I'm going to film that 
Today's Sunday, Thursday. So that's going to be on shot day where I am at my hungriest so that you guys can see kind of how that is. So you guys will see that next week, next Tuesday. So a week from today, stay on the lookout for that one. I hope that you guys have a fantastic uh, start or rest of your week. I will see you guys on Thursday for another Manjaro vlog. Have a great day, guys. Bye.